Hey guys, this is Joe Gray. Today I'm going to try to teach you guys how to overlap videos in Windows Live Movie Maker. The reason I'm doing this is because Windows Live Movie Maker is a free editor, and if you're like me, you just can't afford professional editors. But this is something that only, usually, only you can get from professional editors, and um, I found a way to get it in Windows Live Movie Maker, so I want to share it with all you guys. Also, I'm not really sure if it's called overlapping or whatever, but it's basically keeping the audio from a video like this and playing a picture or movie over that while the audio is still synced to the video. So the first thing you need to do is get your file or your video with the audio that you want. Make sure it's all edited or whatever um, so that it's regular talking, maybe those cuts in between, do whatever you need to, and then save that to your computer. You can click save movie and then for computer. Once that's done saving, you're going to want to upload that to YouTube. Make sure that it's unlisted. If it's not unlisted, it'll show you subscribers. And you don't really want to do that. It doesn't matter that much for some. But um, it's better not to put that in their feed. So just set it as unlisted. Um, it can be unlisted or public. Just make sure it's not private or scheduled. Once it's unlisted and it's done saving your movie in YouTube, then grab that link from the video and go to a website called listen to youtube.com. What this will do is it'll just save the audio from that video as an mp3 file. There's different websites that'll do this. There's this listen to YouTube, YouTube to mp3, and various ones. I have the link in the description if you want to click on that, or just type into your browser listen to youtube.com. Once you have that, you click all the stuff on there to download it. Don't worry, it won't give you any viruses or anything. I've done it plenty of times and nothing happened to my computer from that. Now once you have that, you want to go to Windows Live Movie Maker again and open that music file into there. It should be under your downloads unless you saved it somewhere else. Go ahead and open that up and what you listen to YouTube.com will usually do is it'll put a tiny bit of space in between there. So if you have the newest version of Windows Live Movie Maker, it'll show the waveforms from the audio. You're going to want to make sure that those are matched up together and crop and edit until they are. And then once they are, you're going to want to find out how long that picture or video is going to be taking place while the audio from the original file is still going. In this case, I just went with three seconds. So what you want to do is choose the point where you want that picture or video to begin playing then go to exactly three seconds or however long you chose from that point and split those two. You want to make sure it's exactly the seconds you chose otherwise audio will get mixed up again and you can still go in there and fix that but it's just a lot easier if you just make sure it's exact. And then once you have that part split apart from the main video you can go ahead and delete that little three second section and bring in the picture or file into that in between those two parts. Now you can play your whole video and it should be just fine. This would be a lot harder if it's a video of you talking and it shows your face and your mouth moving because you really want that to be synced up together because your mouth is moving and you know if it's off it'll look really weird but if it's just a video playing with some random music it doesn't matter so much. But yeah guys that's about it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you guys get a good outcome with your videos. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and also check out my channel for more skateboarding related and random videos.